everybody. Welcome. I'm Kelly. Thanks for coming by the channel. If any of you watched my vlog from the 19th, I showed you some of the fabric I'm going to be using for upcoming projects. There was a bunch of Valentine fabric, and I'm going to make a mug rug for my friend. So, I'll show you how I do it. This piece of gingham, pink, is five and a half inches square, and I'm going to applique this little heart onto it that I cut out of the red fabric. Now, I just found this heart online, actually from DebsDays.com, if you guys want to go look for it. There was a whole bunch of different sizes, and I printed it on cardstock, just for stability purposes. And I put this on the wrong side of the fabric and just traced around it with pencil so I could see to cut it out. Now, let's fold this in half so we find the middle. Like so. Put it down with your finger there. And down there. Let's see now. About like that, I think. That looks pretty good all around. I'm not trying to get it exactly 100% perfect, but as long as there's a relatively good amount the same on each side, that's fine. And I'm just going to... Uh, maybe I'll spray it. Sorry, everybody, just thinking out loud. My usual videos... You see me how you get me. A little spritz of spray on the back, just to kind of stick it down. It gets a bit goopy, this stuff, but it'll hold momentarily, at least. All right, now where was I? Right about there. Maybe down a smidgen. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Or close enough, so we'll just pat it down. I'm going to try to applique with satin stitch. My machine sometimes complains about that, so it might be blank and stitch instead. But in order to keep applique stable, I have an old coffee filter. I just pressed it slightly flatter with my iron, and I just put that on there and just you stitch through that, and it just gives it a bit of form, I guess you could say. We'll carry on with that. There we go. I think that turned out okay. I had a nice hot pink thread that went pretty well. The satin stitch was... Setting number eight on my machine, and I used a, th a 3.0 wide stitch and a 0.4 length, so it was nice and tight. I will make the rest of the mug rug later on. I have cut these four fabrics one and three quarter inches wide. This one's five and a half long. I cut the other ones a little bigger, but I'm going to basically just fit it to the five and a half inch pink square that has the heart on it. And this is the order I'm going to sew them in. So, I actually changed the order of these strips. I thought it would look good with the dark light, dark light. This is the scrap piece of batting I have. Just popped it on there. I'll probably glue it down with some spray. And then I'll like, we'll, we'll give myself, I don't know, quarter, three eighths of an inch, maybe even half all the way around. I'm thinking of using either of these two prints as the backing, because I have loads of it, and I'd kind of like to use this one as the binding. I think that would look cute. So, we'll see what I decide to do next. So I decided to use the white fabric, and I just ran a few quilting lines with white thread on it. Nothing too fancy. I gave myself a little extra on the edge and a little extra of the batting, and I'll just square it up. And I am going to use this as the binding. I need one more um, piece, strip though. This is only one strip and I think I need two just to have enough extra and I will be cutting it at two and a quarter as I described in my previous video about doing binding. I used the XO fabric for the binding. Now I kind of did a boo-boo. <laughs> Traditionally when you are going to be doing your binding by hand you sew it on the front and then when you flip it over you do like slip stitch along the back just to tack it down. I've done that. Handy when my son was playing hockey. Take the quilt, sit with on my lap, do a few stitches when the whistle blows or between periods or whatever. So I stuck with the plan I was going to do. I sewed it on originally with the same white as I was quilting with. That part doesn't matter because you don't see it. 
And then what I did was I put pink thread back in my machine and I sewed along the edge of the binding like that. And on the front, you can see it, it looks like a lo another line of quilting. Now, is it perfect? No. It's not exactly a straight line, but it still looks cute with a little bit of extra pink stitching around it, and I think my friend will like it. So, there we go. All done.